In this lesson, we'll begin a review of Math Test 10, Section 3, No Calculator. So at the beginning of a section, remember the math has a progressive level of difficulty. So the questions in the beginning, very straightforward. Just make sure you work efficiently and accurately. All right, let's take a look at the first one. 2z plus 1 equals z. What value of z satisfies the equation above? So simply solve for z. We subtract the z from both sides, and we get a single z on the left, and we add one to both sides or excuse me, subtract one from both sides. And that is the answer, negative one. All right, let's take a look at number two. Scroll down just a little, little more. A television with a price of $300 is to be purchased with an initial payment of $60 and weekly payments of $30. Which of the following equations can be used to find the number of weekly payments W required to complete the purchase assuming there are no taxes or fees? Very common question, linear equation. And remember, with any linear equation, think about slope-intercept form. You have y equals mx plus b, and we know that the y-intercept is the fixed amount. This is the initial charge. It does not change the flat fee. And we know that here we have the slope times the, the, the units, and this is going to be the variable cost, right? And in this case, you should recognize as soon as they, they tell us initial, this is the y-intercept, that's going to be the 60. And we want if weekly payments are 30 and W is the number of weeks. So, and that's the slope then. So it's going to be 30 W, right? $30 times the number of weeks plus the initial amount 60 equals the 300. And that is the answer, C. All right, let's take a look at the third one. This is the last one on the first page. The table above shows shipping charges for an online retailer that sells sporting goods. There is a linear relationship between the shipping charge and the weight of the merchandise. Which function can be used to determine the total shipping charges f of x in dollars for an order with a merchandise weight of x pounds? So we just have to set up the equation here. Again, just like the last question, we know this is linear. They're telling us it's linear. Whenever you have a question like this and you have to identify the equation, always find the slope. That's what I would recommend find the slope and so let's take a look at the weight here we have an increase of five and if we look at the shipping charges I know this is the no calculator you don't have to be exact just save time but this is really close to five because this is almost 17 this is almost 22 so this went up by five and if you want to confirm it just be careful and look at the difference here it's not five as we had from five to ten this is ten and if you notice from 22 to 32 this is an increase of 10 and so this should recognize you should recognize that the slope is very close to 1 so if we want to find the equation for an order with merchandise weight of x pounds we know the slope is it's going to be a or b these slopes are much too big and you want to say to yourself is there a y intercept well of here you should recognize there is because if we went back, we know at 5, the shipping charge is 17. And we know the slope is 1. So if we went back, let's say, all the way down to 0, right? We went back 5. That would be a decrease of about 5. So this would be really close to 12. And that's the y-intercept. You should be able to see there has to be a y-intercept because when the x and y's this does not travel for the origin right they're not the same and so the initial charge you want to ask yourself what would it be when the weight is zero right it's going to be very close to 12 and so the answer here is b